Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Zelda Ray. Uh, actually, it's not morning, it's afternoon. Well, let's get into the day devotional. God is good and he is worthy to be praised. So the scripture reading for today's devotional is John chapter 18, verses 1 to 27. I will advise you, please, to read that. There is so much meat in there. The Bible says in John chapter 18, verses 26 to 27, one of the household servants of the high priest a relative of a man whose pe ear Peter had cut off asked, didn't I see you there in the olive grove with Jesus? Again, Peter denied it and immediately the rooster crowed, amen? Peter had very sincerely stated that he would never deny Jesus. He earnestly believed that he would be willing to give up his life for, the, for his Messiah and best friend. Yet Peter failed. At the moment of truth, Peter denied that he even knew Jesus. His failure was even more devastating to him because he had been warned. Peter's denial of Christ demonstrates something about the hearts of human beings. We are drawn to the very things we are warned against. Amen. In the magazine Marketing News, Herb Rockfeld reported that a 1997 marketing and public policy conference in Boston, psychology professor Brad J. Bushman of Iowa State University presented the results of a series of experiments exploring the potential of a warning label to attract audience to violent television programs. The results, listen to this, the results show that warning labels actually increase interest in the violent shows, especially when the source of the warning was the United States Surgeon General, and particularly when the target of the warnings was all viewers and not just young viewers. The research also showed that labels providing information and a warning, for example, this film contains violence, viewer discretion is advised, increased the interest in the violent programs even more than the ones that just provided the information, this film contains violence. In other words, telling people what to do with the information actually drew them to the violent programs more than just giving them the information. In the same way, each of us has a desire to pursue the very thing God has warned us against, knowing that we should be careful not to just read his warnings, but to heed them as well. Lord, give me a healthy respect for my potential to be drawn astray. Help me to actively heed your warnings. Amen.